Hi all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be discussing about the unit of measures provided by Odo 60. Now we are talking about the sales module. Okay, inside the sales module, we have this unit of measure and the unit of measure categories. Now what are these unit of measures? Suppose you are going to a shop to buy water. Okay, so how are you going to buy this water? You will buy one bottle, a bottle of two liter, one liter and all. Right, so what are these liter, one liter, two liter and all? These are the units of measure, right? So in case, uh, like talking about another example, if you are taking the category weight, you have the unit of measures like gram, kilogram, milligram and all. Now, this is the concept of unit of measure. Now, inside the Odoo 16, you have the option to configure both and we can use that uh, for products which we sell inside the sales module while creating a quotation and all. Let's move forward and see how to configure this unit of measure and unit uh, inside the Odoo 16 sales module. Okay, so now let's get into the sales module and see how to configure this unit of measure as well as the unit of measure category. So first I'm opening the sales module and inside the sales you can see under the configuration you have unit of measure as well as the unit of measure categories. But not all time you will have, it's not necessary that you have to see that under configuration. But if you're not seeing that what you have to do is go to the configuration settings and inside the settings you have the unit of measures. Here you can see, right? Now just enable it and only then that menu will be visible under the configuration. So now it's enabled. So I'm not doing any further edits and all. Now if you enable it, uh, like if you enabled it just now, don't forget to save it. So under configuration, we have the unit of measure as well as unit of measure categories. So I'm opening the unit of measure first. Now here you can see all the unit of measures which are created. Like if it's weight, you know, it's like kilogram, gram and also this kilogram, gram, then you can see here like hours, centimeter, meter, days, units and all. All those uh, unit of measures which we created can be found under a single menu called the unit of measure. Now if you want to see them under their corresponding category, you can view them under the unit of measure category. So I'm opening the unit of measure category. Here you can see unit and corresponding to that unit, you can see the unit of measures uh, coming. That is uh, for the category unit, you have units as well as dozens. For weight, you have gram, kilogram and all. And similarly for working time, you have hours, days, uh, distance, you have millimeter, centimeter, inch, feet and all. Right. So similarly, if you want, you can create one as well. So before going to this, we'll go to unit of measure and let's create a new unit of measure. So I'm creating a unit of measure called a bunch or something. Okay. So no, I'll give new UOM and you can uh, select a category to which this has to belongs to. So I'm putting unit. Okay, and you can make it active also. You can set a rounding position for that value. That is for that you a uh, unit of measure. Okay, so this is how you create one. Uh, inst so you can just save it here. Okay, so you can, yeah, here you can see type. Okay, so inside the unit of measure, once I saved it, see, there's a message. Unit of measure category unit should only have one reference unit of measure. So what you have to do is, if you want to create a reference unit for the category, you can create it from here. That is, for example, if you are creating, just open unit of measure. So I'm just discarding the changes. So here you can see unit and uh, corresponding to unit, you can see units and dozens, where units is in blue color. It's in that color because that unit is set as the reference unit. So you will set the UOM as a reference and other UOMs which will follow will be compared to this reference that is smaller than the reference unit, larger than the reference unit, so and so. So we will do one thing. Um, suppose you have a case, okay, you have to sell flowers. Okay, so how will you sell flowers like bunches and stems, right? So I am um, selling like, uh, like I am creating a unit of measure for flowers and I'm creating the UOMs such as uh, bunches as well as stems. So let's create such a scenario. So clicking on create. Now here I'm giving flowers. Okay. And here if you want to group products in POS based on that UOM, you can set it from here. So I'm not doing that at all. And under this category, you can create the unit of measures. So here I'm giving a stem. 
okay and here under type you can set whether this is the uh, reference unit bigger than the reference unit or smaller than the reference unit so i'm putting this as the reference unit of measure and again if i'm adding one more i'll compare that uh, with the reference unit that is either i can put it like bigger than the reference unit or smaller than the reference unit then you have the unspc category it's not uh, compulsory and all you can choose it from here then here you have the ratio so I'm putting the ratio as 1 itself and also you can set the rounding precision so I'm putting it there again I'm adding one move which is bunch okay so I'm planning that if stem means one quantity and bunch means 12 stems that is 12 stems together creates a bunch so I'll put the ratio to 12 okay so one stem uh, this is bunch is 12 and the reference here I'm setting it to bigger than the reference unit okay so stem is just one quantity bunch is greater than the uh, reference unit right so I've set that okay so the ratio and all is set here now let's save it okay it's saved now we are going to create a product and we'll implement this thing inside that product so here you can see the products menu going to the products here and I'll create a new product so let's create roses okay so people can either buy roses as a stem or a bunch so let's see how to set it and how to set the money and all for all these unit of measure so I'm putting the ordered quantity and all now here you can see the sales price I'm putting the sales price to 2 and here you can see cost per units so it's not unit first of all we've changed the unit of measure we have to bring our unit of measure into this product so here under unit of measure you can just click on search more and here you can see bunch and stem so I'm putting the basic unit as stem okay so here you can see purchase unit of measure is also stem and the unit of measure of this product is also stem and here you can see cost per stem will be this much so I've uh, given 10 okay so the product is set I'm starring it for easy access so roses saving it now what we are going to do is create a sale order and a purchase order for this thing you can create any one okay so I'll just go to the orders quotations create so I'm selling this product in stems and bunches so here you can create it uh, adding the customer I'm adding deco here's the product I'm adding roses and here you can see the quantity is one and the unit of measure is stem and for one stem the price is two units so what I'm going to do is change the stem to bunch see the difference yourself so here you can see I'm buying one bunch so how much is a bunch was it was 12 right so 12 into 2 is 24 so I've set one uh, stem for two rupees or two dollars so here when I uh, when I've chosen bunch that is one bunch you have 12 stems and the unit of price has changed to 24 so this is how you set the money for a unit of measure uh, yeah for a UOM and based on that that money and all will be calculated that is for stem it was only single quantity bunch was 12 quantities of the same thing and the price is calculated accordingly so this is how you set that uh, unit of measure and its price and all accordingly okay so here you can see the price the uh, unit of measure and all. I'm putting stem itself and you can simply confirm it and proceed okay so let's see in the case of what purchase also so I'm creating an invoice regular invoice created view we'll complete the process for the time being okay so this is the draft invoice so here also you can see the unit of measure is stem confirm it okay so after confirming I'm going to register the payment here create payment so here you can see the money and this has been paid now let's do one thing go to the purchase module okay now inside the purchase let's buy this product so now currently we sell this I mean yeah let's create a new one create an RFQ uh, set the vendor here so I'll choose coin and you can see the purchase agreement and all I'm not choosing that and all right now so here I'm adding the product roses okay so the quantity one has come one stem unit price is 10 so this is the cost which I set for the price so per unit it's 10 so I'm going to change it to bunch 
so here you can see 12 stems together makes a bunch so the price have changed to 120 okay so this is how it works so I'm confirming the order I'm just putting one bunch if you want to change it you can change so I put it two bunch okay so let it be and I'm confirming the order okay so let's receive the products so here you can see roses demand is for 12 quantities okay like we are we have set the unit of measure as stem while creating the product itself but we are buying 12 stems which is uh, called as a bunch okay so let's validate it apply okay it's applied go back to the purchase create bill and conclude it so here you can see one bunch 120 along with the taxes you can see some other total okay so let's confirm it okay you have to provide a bill date confirm it okay then you can complete it with the uh, payment so register payment create payment and in payment so this is basically how you configure the unit of measure as well as the unit of measure category okay so uh, inside the like you create a product you give that unit of measure which you created towards that product you set the stem like in case of our flowers you set you have set a stem you've provided a money that is a particular amount for that quantity and what happens is that in bunch we've given the ratio as 12 so 12 stems together creates a bunch and accordingly the money is also calculated now in case of purchase the cost per stem which we given will be taken and in case of sales the sales price is taken now if you just take a look at the configuration of the sales okay just click on the plus icon here here you can see unit of measure so here in case of flowers we have given the stems as the reference unit of measure right so here you can see the stem as reference unit of measure and also you have the bunch here which is bigger than the reference unit let's create a new one uh, like I'll put a bundle or something okay and another category I'll give flowers okay the thing is that you can only create the reference unit of measure from here so even if I put the category flowers and create a new unit of measure the type and all I can't change it from here so but you can view all the other UOMs as well but you can't create a uh, you know unit of measure other than the reference type okay so that's all about the unit of measure and the unit of measure category okay so the next time don't get confused about the unit of measure and unit of measure categories that's all we have for you in this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video